Welcome back to Jam and Jess Wise. Today I am going to show you how to remove your wraps. And I've got a couple of different ways to talk through it, but the number one thing that I do is with nail polish remover. Now this is Sally Hansen, which is an acetone nail polish remover. Any nail polish remover that you use that is 80% acetone will work because uh, that's what's going to start breaking down the adhesive that is on your vinyl nail wraps and start taking them off safely from your nails without causing any damage. I do use a little shot glass because it is easy to do wherever I'm sitting. I can hold on to it if I need to and I can transport it easy. Now I also have an orange stick and an alcohol prep wipe. So my, I will show you what the current nail is. This is Mad Hatter and you can see that I have growth coming out now, the back growth on that. So what I do to start with is with my orange stick, I'm going to be lifting up around the back and the edge of the nail. I just want to start having access for that nail, nail polish remover to be breaking down the adhesive on my nail. So only slightly lifting it up on there. Okay, then I'm going to be starting to soak it. Now this can take about two minutes, depending on the type of wraps can also vary the time it takes to remove them. Let me show you some information here. These are our gloss wraps, this is Country Club, and it has a white background. Our clear, matte and gloss wraps, also tint, all have a very basic wrap coating. The sparkles, uh, the sparkles luster satin and metallics, have a silver backing on it and it's actually a thicker wrap which takes a little bit more time to remove. You may also find that the layers of your wraps can split as you're removing it and the metallics will leave a bit of the silver backing that is easily rubbed off with your prep wipe. Let me have a check on the progress of this. Now I'll bring it up close and you'll start to see that it's wrinkled and the nail polish remover is working itself underneath that wrap. So I'm just going to now start with my nails. I'm just going to be lifting it a little bit. Now, if you find that it is pulling, you'll need to start soaking it again. Okay, so it's worked its way halfway down my nail, but I want to keep soaking it. Now, the nail polish remover, you might be a little bit hesitant to use that on your nail, but have a think about it. Your nail wraps have lasted up to two weeks, and it's only at that point that you're then going to put them into your nail polish remover. If you are wearing polish and it chips after two or three days, because I know mine does, you would be using your nail polish remover on your nails a heck of a lot more often than you would be in wearing your wraps. But if you don't like the acetone, you can also use oils. Now, some of my girlfriends use baby oil. You can use vegetable oil, coconut oil, and olive oil. Now, coconut oil is one that I use. This is solid coconut oil, because in Tassie, we don't buy it as liquid. And a rubber glove. Why? I do some wrap removals when I'm washing up. I've got a family of five, so it's a long time that I spend at the kitchen sink. And sometimes I'm a little bit time poor, so I multitask. With the solid coconut oil, I'll take a dollop of this and put it into each finger of my rubber glove. The heat of the washing up water and the length of time that I am working away there is going to allow all that oil to soften my wraps working underneath. By the time I've finished, I can just slide them off my nail. Talking about sliding off my nail, let's have a look at how this one is lifting. Now here's an example where it has split. So this is the gloss cover of it and the adhesive layer is still on my nail. It has worked itself around a little bit more, but it is still sticking. So I'm going to keep soaking. Why? Because you don't pull your nail wraps. That is the number one reason of what causes the damage to your natural nail, pulling it. Wraps are not bananas. Do not peel them because you're going to be peeling off some of your nail and that will cause all the little damage on it. If you do cause damage, don't panic. It's okay. You can buff your nails and you can use our cuticle oil as a treatment. You can also look at using our Beauty Boost. Okay. And now that I've got all of the adhesive off with an alcohol prep wipe, I'm just going to clean off the remain any remaining residue on it. Also any dirt that may have got stuck on it. You'll find that some might leave a bit of adhesive. And there is a perfectly healthy nail ready to start my prep work for a new application. 
Happy jamming. Bye.